Hey guys, so today I am going to be going to a bunch of little free libraries and I love going to little free libraries. I think it's so much fun and I always go to the same ones like over and over and over again and I kind of wanted to see if I could find some new little free libraries and so I looked up online. There's littlefreelibrary.org I think is what it's called and they have like a map of all the little free libraries in your like area but you can also just like look them up and a bunch show up that aren't on that website so i actually have a bunch that i found and i'm going to go to a couple of them today i'm going to go to a couple of my regulars today as well and we're just going to go visit a whole bunch of little free libraries and see what i can find um and i'm going to bring a few books along that i plan to be able to switch out because you guys know it's always good if you take one to leave one so I am going to bring The Sun in Her Flowers by Whoopi Kaur. This is a book that I read a long time ago. I think I read this in like 2019 or something like that. And this was great. Like I said, Whoopi Kaur is one of probably the better poets that I've read. But I just don't need to keep this around. I've had it for a long time and I've just never like reread it. And then we have Einstein's Dreams. I read this. This is the one in English. You guys know I accidentally bought it in German. But this is the English version. And I read this last year, I think. And it was great. I think I gave it three stars. It wasn't like my favorite book of all time, um, but I'm definitely not gonna reread it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in there. And then I found this one actually in a little free library. It's called Dark Possession. And I actually took this. It didn't come with a dust jacket or anything. So I don't know what the cover actually looks like, but it sounded like kind of a fun, like fantasy romance. And I was gonna maybe read it for like a video or something like reading a book that like I know nothing about or I don't know what the cover is or something like that but I just never got around to it and I don't think I'm ever going to read it. So there's a bunch of other like fantasy romances that I'm going to read before this one so I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in there as well. So I'm just going to bring three for now and then see what I can find. So let's go. <laughs> This one was mine, this one was mine, and this one was mine. Okay, we have one last stop. This is a really good one. I've heard this is actually really good. We've got Beach Read. You guys know how I feel about Emily Henry. I kind of gave up. I don't know if I'm gonna read any more of her books. I just unhauled a ton of her books. I think I'm gonna take this because Travis said he kind of wants to reread Dune. He's read it twice, but he said he wants to reread it again. So I think I might actually take this one. And then we've got red, white, and royal blue. I actually had this for a while and then I unhauled it. Um, I was thinking about reading it, but I just never got around to it. But that's a good book. I know that. It got really good reviews. Love and other consolation prizes. Good. There's a lot of like new stuff in here that I haven't seen before. But I'm gonna leave these in here for somebody to take. And I'm gonna take Dune and one last stop. All right, so here is the next one. I've ha actually put books in this one as well. You guys might actually recognize them. I put this one in here. And I put Horrid in here. No one took that one. But there's new ones in here from the last time I came here. Got little magic tree houses. I should take those for Emery. The Year of Disappearances. That looks kind of cool. Half human, half vampire. Well, that's kind of a pretty cover. The Sparrow. Okay, we've got these. These are apparently really good, I've heard. So I can see what's behind. There's some good books in here. Lots of these little mass market paperbacks. The Business of Lovers. What is this? I've never heard of that. Interesting. I gotta say, these are pretty good. Um, little free libraries. There's always really good books in these. And I always try to put some of my best books that I'm unhauling in here. I haven't been to this one before. 
this one is right on a main road, so it's a little embarrassing filming, but oh well. We've got, oh, Pride and Prejudice. I have, actually, I have a really good copy of this one at home. I don't really see any up here. It's down here. The Personal Librarian. I read part of this book, but then I ended up DNFing it, but I don't know why I DNFed it. It was kind of like a soft DNF, and then I never picked it back up again, but it's about introverts. What's this? The Edge of Nowhere. don't really see anything in here. There's a lot in here, though. That one was pretty good. No luck, though. Here's one. Take one, leave one. This one's really cute. I love how it's just wood. It's part of this bright blue house. Let's see if this one's good. Ooh, ooh, scorpion races. Isn't that like an old, like, kind of classic, sort of? I heard a lot about that one. And wool. This one kind of looks cool. Robert B. Parker. That one looks like a horror or something. That's kind of a cool cover, honestly. It has like a really interesting vibe to it. A wild classic. I feel like that's like a modern classic sort of. But I don't really see anything that is interesting to me. We have a couple kids books. But I don't really see anything that I'm interested in. So that was not successful, but it's still a pretty good one. I feel like there's some good stuff in there. Cute. It's like a walker. Isn't that adorable? All right. Oh, look, Stocking Jack the Ripper. That's cool. I've already read this, but that was a pretty good book. Um, we've got a lot of kids' books. Players. Ooh, Passion of Artemisia. It's probably about Artemisia Genaleshi, which is a really interesting story, by the way. I read a book about her before. This is the only good one. I've already read it. I didn't finish that series though, for whatever reason. So I didn't find any here. So kind of a fail, but this one's really cute. I like the locker. All right, so this one is actually right by Elena's friend's house, literally right by her house. And it's a really small one. So we'll see if I get lucky with this one, but I don't think I will, but we'll see. Look at this little cutie one. Okay, well, nothing in this one. This one was really small, but it's cute. Not a success. Alrighty. Under the green sky. Is this like a romance? <laughs> also, this is like a thriller. Let's see. Nobody wants to get rid of their good books, do they? These are all like Christian-y. This one deserves to have a nice romance. There. So among all the Christian books, we have a nice little dark possession romance. There we go. Okay, you guys, we are not having any luck. I'm getting irritated. I was hoping that we could maybe at least find, I mean, we found a couple, but should I do one more today? This one is big, you guys, look at this one. So cute. Ooh, what's this? Girl last seen. This looks kind of interesting. This kind of looks like something similar to what I just read. But I might take this one. I'm gonna put Einstein's Dreams in here. The Book of Mormon. The 
darkest evening. Don't see anything, and these are all kids' books. I should take some kids' books for Emery, but I'm not going to. I don't see anything, but I think I'm gonna take this one. This one might be fun if I'm in the mood for like a thriller, and it's about a girl that was abducted. So we're gonna take that one. This one doesn't look that great. <laughs> okay you guys so it is the next day and i haven't filmed the like last part of this video but i wanted to show you guys what i ended up finding i wouldn't say this was the most successful little like library trip i think there was a lot of decent books but i either already read them or wasn't interested in them but there were some pretty good books i just already read them so the ones that i did end up getting was one last stop this is by casey mcquiston and this is the author of Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I think that this is about a girl who moves to New York City and she goes into this bus or like the subway or something and she meets this girl, but I think the girl ends up being like a ghost, I'm pretty sure. Or no, she's not a ghost. She is displaced from time because so she's a time traveler. I think that's what it is. Um, so that sounds really cool. I love time travel -y things, especially when it's done really, really well. And I think that sounds super, super interesting. And I'm really interested to see kind of like what happens with this one. So let me know if you guys have read this and if you guys liked it. But because I love time travel -y things, I think that sounds really good. And then I got Dune, like I said, Travis has read Dune twice and he obviously really likes the show. And he mentioned to me the other day that he wants to read Dune again for the third time. So when I saw this, I decided to pick it up because we actually don't own Dune anymore. I think he got rid of that book a long time ago, but I thought I'd just take this one. So he has it on hand if he ever decides he does want to read it again. So there's that one. And then I also got Girl Last Scene. I thought this looked pretty cool. So this kind of actually looks like YA. Like the font is really big. So I always feel like that's kind of you know, a way to tell if it's going to be like YA or not. But I think this is about a girl who was abducted like a long, long, long time ago. And she was abducted for a very specific reason. And she ends up, I think, getting free. And then they never found her captor, but a bunch of girls continue to go missing that had the same like thing that she had for why she got abducted. So there's more girls getting abducted for like the same reason or something. And so she feels like her captor's back out there and he is abducting girls again. And that's kind of what I'm understanding, but I think this looks really awesome because I do like a good like YA thriller. I just think they're really fun and because the font is really big, I feel like I'm going to read this probably pretty quickly. So this one looks really interesting. I'm curious about this one. So I will let you guys know what I think about this one. But those are the only three books that I found. They look really good. I almost got Red, White, and Royal Blue because I've heard such good things about that book, but I didn't decide to pick that one up. But yeah, so that was my trip to go look at little libraries. Hopefully you guys thought this video was interesting and fun and maybe we can do this again in the future if you guys liked it. So that's it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.